my true passion comes from my family and my culture, my belief that education is more than just reading and writing. It's, it's far more than knowing how to count to 10. It's educating the whole child. And that, I think, comes from what I have for learning. My first job was just down the road here, and I was a computer teacher, music teacher, junior police officer, advisor, choir teacher, everything you name it, I did it. Um, I loved it, thoroughly enjoyed it. We had so many activities, and I just fell in love with the education itself. Hi guys, Sheena is the one that is our fearless leader. Uh, I've been at this school for 24 years now, and I've seen the growth that this school has made under her leadership. Um, she has the foresight to see where we need to go as a family, and I think what makes her unique is that she treats all of her students as if they're her own children. Sheena is everything that drives our school and thus drives our community. She is present for everything that we do on campus and even off campus and she's always um, willing to help anyone in school and in the community and she just puts a face on our school. If you walk around our campus, you will surely spot her. She's constantly walking around. She's in our classrooms daily. That kind of present in physical reality and present of mind kind of gets people behind you on board and realize, okay, I like the way this ship is moving. Uh, when you see someone who is willing to work hard or harder than you are, you're willing to follow them. Uh, looking at what's going on, being present to both the teachers, being available, getting used to our style as well as us getting used to her style. So finding her rhythm here, getting the kids to you know, see her as uh, the captain of the ship. She definitely wants to be involved with um, our students and with our lives as well. It's the kids' reactions to the teachers and the, the rapport that they have between each other. It's, it's really um, revitalizing. So if I'm having a tough day, my biggest thing is to go into a classroom. And it helps me to get revitalized as well. Our biggest thing for both myself and our two vice principals, we're all in the classrooms every day. We're talking with teachers and students every day. We kind of set up our school so that it can be more conducive for collaboration. Uh, we would had the professional learning communities which allowed the teachers to sit down a whole day and just talk shop and just say this is what's going on in my curriculum, how's this helping for you, um, look at this, look at my assessment, is it rigorous enough, how can I bump it up a level, what questions do you think I need or have you got any other specific strategies that you use to keep the kids engaged, that kind of professional learning community helped our teachers to understand there's more to their craft than just within their classroom. So um, huge, huge asset to our school. Does it have to be with me? Can it be with? Yes. Okay. She practices being a principal 24-7. The students are always on her mind. She's always looking at how she can communicate with not only the staff but the parents and the students about what King is doing for their kids and always wants to assure people that we are doing our best to provide the education they need. Well, it's really important. Personalization is a huge thing in this school. So we started off with Sam. Um, Samuel Wilder King is the name of our school. And we took that name and used it for Student Achievement Matters. So that's that was our focus of the whole school, is that whatever we do, it's got to be for the kids. It can't be for the teachers, it can't be for me, it can't be for the state, it had to be for our students. And, um, but teaching the kids that responsibility, res re uh, resiliency, being resourceful, showing good relationships with others, and um, being respectful is really priority, and that's what's going to make you a better person. It's also going to help you be a better student, be a better community contributor, um, and it's something that they're going to learn as a lifelong lesson, taking them to whatever college or whatever career they may choose. So personalization, I don't think we could have done it without it. You doing good? 
Uh huh. Sheena has uh, such a humble persona about her. She's soft-spoken and she's very approachable. And I think through those attributes, she's able to make you feel welcomed and um, validate your ideas and your thoughts. And she's respectful. So I think that kind of is the core of what builds that, um, f you know, that sense of family and community here. I think her passion is her genuine care for students and people. And um, I believe that, you know, with the intensity of the job and all the demands that are placed on her, I think that's why she's so successful because she genuinely cares about students. The kids, oh, you know, I, the teachers have impacted them and allow them to, to grow. You know, you couldn't ask for a better faculty, staff. I think being the humble person that she is, she deserves to be uh, applauded for all of her efforts to lead King um, to a, a position of, of state acclaim and, and now national acclaim. So, um, no, it's very fitting that she has this honor bestowed upon her.